Disability rights advocates gathering outside a federal courthouse in White Plains over Lyft's lack of wheelchair accessible vehicles. News 12's Karen Pinto was in court and joins us with what is next for this case that began back in 2017. Karen, what do you know? Tama, dozens of people gathered right here today, right outside this courthouse, and people in wheelchairs say that this is an equality issue and they should be able to get a ride on a rideshare app just like everybody else. We shall ride! We shall ride! We just want to be treated the same. Harriet Lowell says she became disabled in her 40s. She has to rely on her husband to drive her places. Lyft came here and they were not serving people like us. You know, and we didn't think that was right. And so we sued them. Activists like Howell say Lyft needs to be compliant with the Americans for Disabilities Act. While Lyft argues the car ride service they provide is exempt from the act and does not have to serve people with non-folding wheelchairs. This is what the ADA is for, to give everyone access, and that's just what we want. We want to be treated like everyone else and get a ride whenever and wherever we need it. This is not just an issue that affects a few people, but a growing community that deserves to have the same rights to mobility as other Americans. A Lyft spokesperson did release a statement saying, quote, Lyft has a long-standing commitment to maintaining an inclusive and welcoming community, and we're constantly seeking solutions to address wheelchair accessible vehicle supply challenges. Attorney Jeremiah Fry Pearson says he will keep fighting for equality rights. When new systems become evolved, they generally aren't evolved with people with disabilities in mind. Lyft and Uber have revolutionized transportation, but they did it not thinking about people with disabilities. Now, this is set to go to trial on January 17th of next year. In White Plains tonight, Karen Pinto, News 12.